गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन लास्ट क्लास आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट सेक्स लिंक डिसऑर्डर्स सेक्स लिंक डिसऑर्डर्स फॉर एग्जांपल इमोफिलिया फॉर एग्जांपल इमो लास्ट क्लास आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट Uh, sex linked disorders last class i will discuss about uh, sex linked so disorders so there are three types of sex linked inheritance x linked inheritance y linked inheritance and xy linked inheritance and examples i will discuss in the previous class for x linked inheritance examples are hemophilia and color blindness y linked inheritance example hypertrichosis hypertrichosis and ichthyosis hypertrichosis and ichthyosis and xy linked inheritance example for xy linked inheritance is xeroderma and nephritis xeroderma and nephritis these are the different type of sex linked inheritance and examples so why linked the inheritance all i have discussed why linked the inheritance i will give examples why linked inheritance why linked inheritance why linked inheritance I give example two examples for why linked the inheritance I will give two examples. First one, hypertrichosis. 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 What is the hypertrichosis? Why do you inheritance? First example, hypertrichosis. So hypertrichosis means erythema. H e i r a e r y in in males in males a in in so males see hypertrichosis is best example for y linked inheritance because y chromosomes are present only in the males y chromosomes are present only in the males then in males here in in males here in Ears are developed in male ears. The ears are developed. That's why it's called airy ear pinna. Airy ear pinna in males. So hypertrichosis occurs only in the males because Y chromosomes occurs only in the males. So hypertrichosis is characterized by development of a growth of growth of ears. Growth of eggs on ear pinna. External ear pinna. Growth of eggs on external ear pinna. This condition is called hypertrichosis. And one more is ichthyosis. Second example: ichthyosis. Ichthyosis means the development of dry skin. Ichthyosis is characterized by the dry skin and horny scales, horny scales, like fishes, like fishes. The scales are present in the fishes. The presence of scales are the important characteristic features of fishes. But in ichthyosis, ichthyosis. In ichthyosis, if the example for y linked inheritance, ichthyosis is the example for y linked inheritance. It is characterized characterized by dry skin, development of dry skin and horny scales, development of horny scales on the skin like fishes. Here, these are the two example for y linked inheritance. Hypertrichosis. So, what is hypertrichosis? Ichthyosis. What's the character of the ichthyosis? 
and x y is the inheritance. So x y is the inheritance. Zero does not. Zero does not. And therefore, it is of the x one plus one. X y linked in inheritance. So next hemophilia. All that we discussed in last class. Hemophilia. Hemophilia. Hemophilia is also called. Hemophilia is also called royal disease. Hemophilia is also called royal disease or bleeders disease. It is also called bleeders disease. See what is uh, why hemophilia is called royal disease and bleeders disease. So hemophilia is occurs in. Royal families of England. Hemophilia occurs in royal families of England. Royal families. Royal families of England. Royal families of England. That's why it is called royal disease. That's why it is called royal disease. Here, hemophilia is called royal disease because it occurs in royal families of England. And hemophilia is also called bleeders disease. Hemophilia is also called bleeders disease because the continuous bleeding. Suppose the person with suppose. The person with any injury, the person or individual with any injury, any injury. Here, hemophilia is also called bleeders disease because the person with the injury or any cuts, there is the continuous bleeding that is the continuous bleeding continuous bleeding continuous bleeding or delayed clotting delayed clotting or delayed or clotting so delayed clotting or continuous bleeding of the blood from the injury of the person is because due to the absence or deficiency absence or deficiency of the specific clotting factors specific clotting factors specific clotting factors specific clotting factors clear so hemophilia is also called that's why it is also called bleeders disease bleeders disease that's why it is also called bleeders disease okay why it is called bleeders disease because the continuous bleeding or delayed clotting delayed clotting so because due to the Absence or deficiency, absence or deficiency of a specific clotting factors, specific clotting factors in the blood. That's why, from the cuts or injury, the blood is continuously bleeding, continuously oozes out from the body, continuously oozes out from the body. Or delayed clotting. This is because the absence of deficiency of clotting factors in the blood that's why it is called so bleeders disease clear hemophilia is called a royal disease and it is also called bleeders disease bleeders are disease clear next types of types of hemophilia types of hemophilia there are three types, three types in hemophilia. In hemophilia, there are three types. Hemophilia are of three types. Hemophilia are of three types. Hemophilia.
hemofilia Rof, Atri, Ernst. They are hemophilia A. Type A. Very simple. Type A. Type A. Type A, type B and type C. So type A. This type of hemophilia is exhibited by this type of hemophilia is exhibited by so 80% of hemophilics 80% of hemophilics 80% of hemophilics 80% of hemophilics this is due to the deficiency of type A hemophilia type A hemophilia is caused due to type A hemophilia is caused due to deficiency of deficiency of factor deficiency of the factor H deficiency of the factor H here type A it is exhibited type A hemophilia exhibited by 80% of hemophilics it is due to the cause of deficiency of factor H next second one type B hemophilia type B hemophilia so type B hemophilia is exhibited by 20% of hemophilics 20% of hemophilics type B hemophilia is exhibited by 20% of hemophilics and it is due to because of deficiency of the factor it is caused due to the deficiency of the factor 9 factor 9 type B hemophilia is caused due to the deficiency of the factor 9 next type C type C hemophilia type C hemophilia type C hemophilia see type C hemophilia exhibited by less than 1% of hemophilics less than 1% of hemophilics type C hemophilia is exhibited by less than 1% of hemophilics and it is due to because absence of deficiency of because the deficiency of factor deficiency of the factor eleven factor eleven so these are the three important types of hemophilia hemophilia A and the reason factor hemophilia A is because due to a deficiency of factor H hemophilia B is the deficiency of the factor nine and hemophilia C or type C is because due to the deficiency of the factor in our hand. Here, these are the three types of, of hemophilia type A, type B, and uh, type C. And the causes. Next, uh, causes. Next, causes of hemophilia. Causes of hemophilia. Causes of hemophilia. Causes of hemophilia. So hemophilia is caused due to hemophilia is caused due to hemophilia is because of X linked. It is caused due to X linked recessive. X linked recessive gene. Hemophilia is caused due to hemophilia is caused due to presence of hemophilia is caused due to presence of hemophilia is caused due to presence of X linked recessive gene. Here 
hemophilia is constituted to presence of X linked recessive G. X linked recessive G. Generally, 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 generally. So the recessive genes are represented by small letters. How did I explain? Dominant genes are so designated by capital letters, and recessive genes are represented by so small let letters. Letters generally represented as I generally represented as I H and I H recessive. See, hemophilia is caused due to presence of X-linked recessive gene. X-linked recessive gene. H means small H recessive. Okay, generally. They are represented as recessive. Suppose the dominant gene is present. Suppose the dominant is the dominant gene is present. So the gene is present in the dominant condition. It is represented as I H I H R I H I in females. In females, in females. Okay. See, recessive H H recessive genes, recessive factors, recessive alleles are designated by a small letter recessive. Suppose the gene is present in dominant condition. The gene is present in dominant condition means dominant genes are represented designated as capital H dominant. Ah, it is homozygotic, homozygous condition, homozygous H and H. Here heterozygous capital H and small h. Always capital letter H is expressed because capital H, all I will explain. Capital H is dominant over small h. That's why capital H is expressed is character in your one generation in females. This is the dominant condition in females i h h or i h or h small h or in males i h y why means in males x and y allosomes are present x and y here x and x similar here x and y dissimilar H or it is recessive. So recessive or in males dominant. See X linked inheritance clear. So in males only one X chromosome is present. Only one X chromosome is present. Otherwise, other one is Y chromosome, one X and one Y. So in females, it is a recessive condition. Sorry, in males, it is a recessive condition. In males, it is dominant condition. Clear? So hemophilia is caused due to the presence of X linked recessive gene. Generally, the recessive gene is represented as I small h, I small h. Or suppose the gene is present in dominant condition. Suppose the gene is present in dominant condition. I H capital letter H H I H and I small H heterozygous condition. But capital H is expressed in females. But in males, I small H Y. It is recessive G and I H capital Y. It is dominant condition. The gene. The recessive condition, the gene dominant condition in males. So the hemophilia, this disorder, hemophilia, this disorder, hemophilia is primarily occurs in males. Primarily occurs in males. The disorder, hemophilia, primarily occurs in the males. 
because females can dance because the females can dance two copies of two copies of x chromosome two copies of x chromosome two copies of x chromosome hemophilia is x linked recessive disorder so it occurs primarily in males because female have two copies of x chromosome that's why female does not show or does not express hemophilia females does not suffering from females or does not are suffering from hemophilia because due to presence of two copies of x chromosome but males express the hemophilia are suffering from hemophilia because due to the presence of only one x chromosome right so here suppose listen yeah so suppose the g suppose the g for factor h the g for factor a is deficiency defective 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 suppose the g for factor a is defective on the chromosome on the chromosome on the chromosome chromosome but the g for factor a is present on the other chromosome the g is present the g is found or present on the other chromosome other x chromosome other x chromosome will compensate will compensate will compensate that's why female does not express the hemophilia this is the reason that you see clear got the point female and two x chromosomes females have two x chromosomes see in females suppose the g for factor 8 in females the g for factor 8 is defective so on the other chromosome the g is present two x chromosomes so one chromosome the g is defect for factor 8 this is compensated by this defective g is compensated by present on the other chromosome present on the other chromosome so here compensate the g for factor a is present on the other chromosome will compensate that's why female does not express female does not express the hemophilia see in males in males in males only one x chromosome is present only one x chromosome is present if the g for if the g for factor h factor h if the g for factor a is defective is defective that's why because due to the presence of only one x chromosome the g for factor 8 is defective they will express the disease hemophilia express the disease hemophilia clear because it means there is no another x chromosome another chromosome is y chromosome that's why there is no g for compensating males that's why because due to the presence of one x chromosome so the male will express the disease clear this is the difference male and female the males express the hemophilia and females does not express the hemophilia this is the reason okay then see so 
schematic representation take down the schematic representation representation schematic representation non hemophilic non hemophilic non hemophilic woman no hemophilic woman cross with hemophilic man emo hemophilic man hemophilic man correct then geno tags this is pino tags pino tags so geno tags geno tags non hemophilic i h i h into hemophilic man hemophilic man gametes 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 i h small letter h and y and the fertilization i h i h i h y i h y your form generation your form generation your form generation your form generation see when non hemophilic woman when non hemophilic woman is married with married with hemophilic man the genotypes dominant it's a recessive hemophilic the gametes your form generation see non hemophilic woman marries with hemophilic man in a fun generation in a fun generation all of all the offsprings in a fun generation all the offsprings are normal all the offsprings are normal clear here, here also capital h correct here also capital h so daughter and so son both are normal because due to the presence of dominant gene in a fun generation the offspring so they are not normal normal means non hemophilic normal means non hemophilic clear so non hemophilic woman cross with or marriage married with hemophilic man in a fun generation all the offspring both male and female daughter and son are not normal normal means non hemophilic so when f1 self f1 are self so carrier normal so f1 crossed or f1 self pollinated so here so carrier daughter so here carrier daughter see f1 self carrier daughter into normal normal son normal son. carrier daughter and normal son see genotypes genotypes i h i h into i h y see gametes i h i h into i h y 
Four tenths of the same is equal. See, first one. I H I H then I H Y then I H Y H I small letter H and Y. Let's see of two generation. This of two generation. You have two generation. So in F2 generation, it's a normal female. Normal female. Normal male. Normal male. So normal daughter, normal female. This is carrier. She carries the gene for hemophilia of her father's side. She carries the gene for hemophilia. She means daughter carries. G for hemophilia from father's side. Father's side. Father's side. And hemophilic side. Hemophilic male or hemophilic son. In F2 generation. Listen. So in F2 generation, the males are hemophilic. The males are hemophilic. The daughter is carrier. So Order will expand. Sex linked inheritance shows. Sex linked inheritance shows crisscross inheritance, crisscross of zigzag. Sex linked inheritance. Sex linked disorders. Sex linked disorders shows crisscross or zigzag pattern. Because the disorders transmit from father. The disorders Transmit from father to his grandson, to his grandson through carrier daughter, through carrier daughter. Here the daughter carries the G for hemophilia, the G for hemophilia from the father's side. So females are carrier, clear? Females are carrier for the gene responsible for hemophilia from the father's side. That's why sex linked inheritances or disorders so crisscross or zigzag pattern because the genes or the disorders transmit from father to grandson, father to grandson through carrier daughter. Clear? So this is about color blindness. So this is due to hemophilia. This is due to hemophilia. So we know symptoms of hemophilia, bleeding in joints, bleeding in joints, and this is associated with pain and swelling. Bleeding in joints, and these results are associated with uh, so swelling and uh, pain in the joints. And hemorrhage, bleeding, hemorrhage is bleeding in gastrointestinal tract and urinary tract. Both in gastrointestinal tract and urinary tract. The, the bleeding occurs. The prolonged, prolonged bleeding from cuts or injury. Prolonged uh, bleeding or uh, prolonged bleeding from cuts and tooth extraction and surgery may lead to death. Surgery may lead to death. This is about so hemophilia. Clear? Next. Disorder. Next one is color blindness. Second example, color blindness. Color blindness. So color blindness. So color blindness is also X link. It is also X link. Recessive. It is also due to presence of X linked recessive G. X linked recessive G. D. 
डिजॉर्डर कलर ब्लाइंडनेस इज आल्सो एक्सिंग रिसेसिव डिजॉर्डर रिसेसिव डिजॉर्डर सो कलर ब्लाइंडनेस वाज डिस्कवर्ड बाय विल्सन 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 इन 1911 कलर ब्लाइंडनेस वाज डिस्कवर्ड बाय सो विल्सन इन 19 Love. Here, color blindness is also a X-linked recessive disorder. X-linked recessive disorder. First time it is discovered by Wilson in 1911. 1911. Right. So, a person. What is color blindness? A person with a person with a person with normal a person with normal color vision normal color vision identify color vision identify more than identify identify more than identify more than 150 colors identify more than 150 colors clear a person with normal color vision a person with normal color vision identify more than 150 colors but color blind person color blind person color blind individual or person Color blind person identify identify less than identify less than twenty five colors twenty five colors even in bright light in even in bright light clear the a person with Normal color vision. Normal color vision. I can define more than one fifty colors. More than one fifty colors. But color blind person. The person with color blind. The person with color blind disorder. I can define less than twenty five colors. Less than twenty five colors. Even in bright light. Even in bright light. Even in bright light. So, this is the difference. So, a normal next normal female, normal female, normal female as normal female as I see character. Genotype normal female normal female is genotype for color blind is capital normal the dominant normal female as the genotype normal female for genotype and recessive that is color blind normal so genotype why normal man as why normal man Normal man as normal man as genotype is I normal genotype normal man as capital C and so genotype normal man as genotype is capital C Y. And color blind, color blind. A color blind female, a color blind female as color blind female as genotypes is color blind 
female has the genotype small i and small i. And color blind man. Color blind man has the genotype. Color blind man has the genotype. Has the genotype small c and y. Small c and y. Small c and y. See, this is the normal female. The normal female has genotype. Normal female has the genotype. I capital C capital C capital C small C. Here also it's a dominant capital C is dominant. Next normal man has genotype is capital C Y. Color blind female has genotype. Color blind female has genotype small C small C. Like that color blind man has the genotype small C Y. This is the genotype for color blind for normal and Color blind. Color blind genotype both in male and female and uh, so normal in both male and female. Normal genotype both male and female. But here the second one is so color blind genotype for color blind both in male and female. Clear? These two are normal genotype but these two are color blind female. Color blind genotype in female and color blind genotype in man or male. So, difference normal then color blind. Okay. Next, So next causes, causes, you know already, causes of color blindness, why the color blindness is caused, so color blindness is because due to, color blindness is because due to X linked, X linked recessive G, X linked recessive G. So color blindness is caused because due to the presence of X linked recessive gene. This gene prevents this gene of prevents this gene prevents the development of prevents the development of prevents this gene prevents the development of so retina cells development of retina cells. This gene, this defective gene prevents the development of retina cells. Development of so retina cells. Okay. Now, color sensitive cells. The color sensitive cells, bones and rods are present. So, these, uh, so this gene prevents the development of color sensitive cells. Color sensitive cells. Color sensitive color sensitive cells in retina color sensitive cells in retina clear color blindness is caused because due to X linked recessive gene this gene prevents the development of development of color sensitive cells color sensitive cells in retina. This is the reason for color blindness. Color blindness. Next, in color blindness may be two types. In color blindness, two types. Color blindness, two types. Monochromatism, first one. Monochromatism. Monochromatism and second one is dichromatism. Dichromatism. So color blindness may be two types. First one is monochromatism and second one is dichromatism. 
fission bright uh, dichromatism and monochromatism see monochromatism first one is monochromatism first one i have discussed monochromatism monochromatism first one monochromatism monochromatism see monochromatism what is monochromatism monochromatism is a state in which monochromatism is a state in which the individual or the person monochromatism is a state where the individual where the individual is totally color blind is totally totally monochromatism is a state in which the individual is totally so color blind totally color blind totally color blind so the individual is totally color blind the individual fails to recognize the colors even in bright light also the individual fails to identify the colors even in bright light this is called monochromatism monochromatism so color blindness there are two types monochromatism and dichromatism so what is monochromatism monochromatism is a stage in which the individual is totally color blind it's a state in which the individual is totally color blind the individual fails to recognize or identify the colors even in bright light it's called monochromatism next dichromatism what is dichromatism dichromatism so is a condition dichromatism is a condition dichromatism is a condition where the individual where the individual is partially color blind the individual is partially color blind partially color blind partially color clear so dichromatism is a condition where the individual is partially color blind partially color and uh, able to recognize and able to identify able to identify some colors identify some colors some colors able to identify some colors i will give us some colors correct so they are called dichromates these are called monochromates these are called dichromates clear monochromatism means a state in which individual so totally color blind even in bright light the individual does not identify any colors dichromatism but dichromatism is a condition where the individual is partially color blind partially color blind means in this dichromates of the individuals are able to identify some colors identify not all colors some colors so they are called dichromates the individuals are dichromates clear these are called two types in color blind so monochromatism and dichromatism the most common color blind is the most common the most common color blind the most common color blind is color blind the most common color blind is red green red green color blind red green color blind the most common color blind the most common color blind is 
red green color black first one red first one is red first one is red. so red blindness red blindness red blind red blindness in red blindness the individual identified gray color instead of red instead of red clear yeah. the most common color blind is red green color blind first one red blindness in the red blindness the individual identified gray color instead of red the individuals identified red color as gray identified gray instead of red the red color is identified as red next one green blindness green blindness green blindness so here the individuals identified gray color as green gray color as green the individuals identify green color so gray sorry the individual identify gray color instead of green that sets up green blindness in this form so red blindness here yeah, color blindness total monochromatic and Dichromatism. So the most common color blindness is red green color blind. Red green color blind. It is also called red green color blind. It is also called Daltonism. It is also called Daltonism. It is also called red green color blind. It is also called Daltonism because it is discovered by Charles. Dalton discovered by Charles Dalton. That's why red green color band is called Daltonism. Here, the most common color band is red green color band. It is also called Daltonism because discovered by Charles Dalton. So, red blindness is one in which the individual identifies gray color instead of red. Gray color instead of red. And second one is green blindness. So the individual in which identify gray color instead of green, identified as green color, so gray color instead of green. Here these are the. This is called red green color blind. Red green color blind. So pattern of inheritance. Next, take a pattern of inheritance of color blind. Pattern of inheritance of color blinds. Pattern of inheritance of color blinds. See, normal human schematic representation. Pattern of inheritance of color blinds. Normal human. Normal human. Marriage with color blind man. Marriage with color blind. Marriage with color blind man. It's even parental generation. Parental generation. Next genotypes. Genotypes. You know, types. Normal women, capital C. Capital C. Color blind man. Small C. And Y. So next, geno gametes. Next, gametes. Capital C. Small C, 
कैप्टन सी स्मॉल सी कैप्टन सी इट्स यफन जेनरेशन यफन जेनरेशन सी दिस इज पैटर्न ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस ऑफ कलर ब्लाइंड इज नॉट डिस्कस्ड पैटर्न ऑफ कलर ना इन पैटर्न ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस ऑफ कलर ब्लाइंड पैटर्न ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस ऑफ कलर ब्लाइंड सी हियर नॉर्मल वुमेन मैल्स कलर ब्लाइंड मैन नॉर्मल वुमेन मैल्स कलर ब्लाइंड मैन in a fun generation in a fun generation all the offsprings in a fun generation all the offsprings are normal all the offsprings both the male and female daughter and sons are normal in a fun generation correct in a fun generation see next small c small c sorry here yeah. you write small c in capital c capital c small c like that so capital c and y so carrier daughter carry next f1 self f1 a self f1 a self f1 self carrier daughter carrier daughter marries carrier daughter marries a normal man normal man carrier daughter marries carrier daughter marries normal man or normal man then genotypes carrier daughter capital c small c here normal man capital c what normal man gametes capital c small c capital c You have two generations. You have two generations. Capital C, capital C, capital C, Y, capital C, small C. small c this is your two generation your two generation pattern of inheritance of color blind how the color blind color blind is is transfer to father to grandson father to grandson here also color blind color blind follows criss cross inheritance it follows Criss cross inheritance or zigzag inheritance because carrier, carrier dog. So carrier, so the daughter is carrier. She carries the color line from father side. She carries the G for color line from his father side. So female or daughter are always carrier daughters. always carrier of color blind the g for hemophilics sorry the g for color blind the g for color blind is carried from the father side or father side so here sons of color of color blind sons of color blind so in a two generation see color blind is also shows criss cross inheritance or zigzag inheritance here the color line is transmit from father to grandson color line like hemophilia like hemophilia 
color blind is transferred from father to his grandson through daughter through carrier daughter clear these two so normal woman marries color blind man in a fourth generation all offsprings are normal so here daughter is carrier then f1 is self pollinated carrier daughter into normal man carrier daughter into normal man so when now carrier daughter is married normal man so in f2 generation the grandsons are suffering from color blind grandson shows or express the color blind this is called so in sons in f1 generation the sons do not uh, so express the color blind because its uh, color blind is, is a criss cross it shows criss cross of so zigzag inheritance so always the sex linked inheritance or sex linked disorders so transmit from father to grandson through carrier daughter clear this is about color blindness what is color blindness is the individual fails to uh, identify the colors even in bright light so this is color blindness in which there are two types monochromatism and diachromatism monochromatism means it's the condition where the individual fails to identify the so total identify the colors it's called total color blindness even in bright light diachromatism is a condition where the individual has partial color blind partial color blindness the individual recognizes some colors identify some colors so the most common color blind is red green color blind red blindness is in which the individual identify gray instead of red and green blindness in which the individual identify gray as green so this red green color blind was discovered by dalton charles dalton that's why red green blindness is called so daltonism clear this is the inner pattern of inheritance pattern of inheritance of color blind so sex linked disorders follows criss cross of zigzag inheritance means the fathers so these sex linked inheritance or disorders transmit from these disorders transmit from father to grandson father to grandson to carrier daughter the carrier daughter carries the gene from father's side father's Clear? This is about pattern of inheritance of color blind. So it completes X-linked disorders or X-linked inheritance. X-linked inheritance. There are two examples. I will give two examples. X-linked inheritance. I will give two examples. One is hemophilia. Second one is color blindness. Next class I will discuss. autosomal recessive disorders next class i will discuss autosomal recessive disorders yeah okay thank you